Hello and welcome to T3. One of the many ways Make It Work can help you achieve a stress-free digital lifestyle. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and today is Wednesday, March 31st. Here's what's trending. Microsoft yesterday released a critical update that patches a zero-day vulnerability, meaning that exploit code, attack code, was shared with attackers before Microsoft knew about it. Now, security holes are often reported privately to allow software developers time to patch the vulnerability. This update, which is MS 10-018, fixes nine privately reported vulnerabilities and one publicly reported hole. This affects Internet Explorer and several versions. But if you watched yesterday's version, you're not using Internet Explorer 6 anymore, right? It also affects versions 7 and 8. It's critical because it allows remote code execution. And what that means is that visiting a malicious website can actually install and run software on your computer without your knowledge or approval. So if you use Windows and Internet Explorer, pause this video right now, visit update.microsoft.com, and scan your computer for critical updates. Install them immediately. Apple must not want its users to feel left out because it too is releasing some security updates. These are for Mac OS 10.5 and 10.6, and there's a record number of them, 92, which breaks the previous record of 67, which was back in March of 2008. 37 of these updates are critical. And while very few viruses and malware currently affect the Mac, as continued usage climbs, I expect this to change. These updates with the iPad release date will also see some updates to the iPhone coming soon. So if you use Mac OS X, pause this video, click the Apple menu, click Software Update, and install the recommended updates immediately. And finally, Apple is rumored to be releasing two new iPhones this year. The exclusivity agreement with AT&T appears to be coming to an end. AT&T currently has 43% of all U.S. smartphone customers, and Verizon only has 23%. However, Verizon has 91 million customers, so this is a huge opportunity for them, because carriers want those smartphone customers. They spend a whole lot more money. Now, one of these new iPhones is going to run on the CDMA network, and while this is older technology, it's still heavily used by Sprint and Verizon. Apple originally decided against creating a CDMA version to keep their development and manufacturing simple. And Verizon is upgrading to a newer, faster LTE network, which is 4G. But that upgrade is taking longer than expected, which is likely the reason for this CDMA version of the iPhone. While the vast majority of the carriers worldwide run on GSM, or 3G, there's also a new 3G version coming. It's supposed to be thinner and faster and, potentially, may have multitasking capabilities. Thanks for tuning in to T3. For tech trends and more, visit makeitwork.com. I'm Jeremy Anticoni, and that's what's trending.